Brooke Shields and Chris Henchy are one of Hollywood's longest standing couples. They're also incredibly private when it comes to the details surrounding their two decade marriage. From a chance meeting that involved Brooke's beloved dog to a secret wedding and struggles to have children. This couple has proven that they were in it for the long run, no matter what life was going to throw their way. Brooke Shields had previously been married to tennis star Andre Agassi before she met Chris Henschey. She and Agassi tied the knot in 1997 and subsequently divorced two years later. Married to Andre Agassi, who it started out like you guys would fax each other, which is like so delicate and sweet. <laughs> Following her split from the tennis star, the actress admitted that she felt she still had so much growing up to do. Brooke first crossed paths with Chris in 1999, and it was all thanks to her American bulldog, Darla. The actress was busy filming Suddenly Susan when her dog wandered off the Warner Bros. set. Henshi, who was writing for a show at the studio, found Darla and brought her back safely to Shields. Chris immediately made a strong impression on Brooke. Over the next few weeks, their friendship grew, and the actress appreciated how thoughtful and funny he was. Since her divorce was still so fresh, she didn't feel like she was ready to date anyone. But it didn't take long before she realized that she and Chris shared something special. Shields admitted that there was something between us that I could no longer ignore, and soon their friendship blossomed into a romance. Brooke and Chris dated for about two years before they got engaged in Mexico. And she popped the question with a gorgeous antique cushion-cut diamond ring, and the actress didn't hesitate to say yes. The couple kept the details around their relationship very hush-hush. In fact, they went on to get married in secret. There was a lot of conflicting information surrounding the details of their nuptials. The initial reports claimed that the pair tied the knot on the beach at Catalina Island in April of 2001 and celebrated their union surrounded by a small group of family and friends. However, ABC News later revealed that the news about their nuptials at Catalina Island in April was actually false and part of a ruse that the couple used to throw off the paparazzi. We all have to deal with it really in our own way and in our own time, not the way other people tell us to deal with it. ABC News explained that Brooke and Chris didn't get married until a month later at a luxurious Palm Beach estate. All Shields shared about their special day was, the wedding was everything we had hoped for. While the media was trying to dig up the details on the couple's wedding day, the newlyweds were already focused on starting their family. The pair had wanted to be parents even before they got married. Brooke revealed that she went off the pill before their wedding, but hadn't gotten pregnant yet. The actress later discovered surgery she'd had on her cervix a few years prior had resulted in scarring, which affected her ability to conceive. Hence, she remained by her side through it all and supported her with his sense of humor. He was always able to make the dark situation seem a little brighter, which was one of the reasons that Brooke loved him. When the doctor mentioned her cervix becoming incompetent during pregnancy, Shields recalled Henshi saying, Please, doctor, we don't like to use the word incompetent in our house. Could you just say she has a special cervix or that she's simply cervically challenged? After trying artificial insemination, the couple moved on to IVF treatments. While Shields admitted in her book that the process was quite upsetting to the couple, they stuck by each other knowing they would need to mentally and physically prepare for it together. Thankfully, all their hard work in trying to become parents paid off. Brooke shared that their last cycle with IVF was the one that finally resulted in her pregnancy with their first child. The couple welcomed their daughter, Rowan Francis, in 2003, and they were completely elated with their new bundle of joy. Three years later, their second daughter, Greer Hammond, was born. Unlike their first child, Greer was conceived naturally, which caught both Shields and Henshi by surprise. The actress said, all our jaws dropped. While the couple were thrilled at becoming parents, Brooke admitted that she struggled with adjusting to motherhood. Wow, did I really want to feel the extent of this love? Because it hurts all the time. <laughs> she opened up about her battle with severe postpartum depression after giving birth to their first child, Rowan. In Brooke's memoir, Down Came the Rain, My Journey Through Postpartum Depression, which was released in 2005, she opened up about her struggles and how they affected her marriage with Chris. During an interview with Oprah Winfrey, the actress shared that her depression gripped my heart to such an extent that I didn't even have the desire to try to overcome it. I mean, I was flattened by it. I was devastated by it. She also went on to explain that Henshi was confused and hurt by her behavior, and he didn't know how to make her feel better. She said, he burst into tears. He said, what is wrong with you? You don't sing to the baby. You don't even look at the baby. Brooke sought help from a doctor and she was later prescribed antidepressants. 
The actress admitted to Oprah that she was hesitant and embarrassed about taking them, but Chris encouraged her. He told her that there was nothing wrong with taking medication and she had nothing to be ashamed of. She shared, Thank God he was so understanding. I know I wouldn't have been able to continue if he'd been any less patient. I've always worked hard at being the most myself and a good person, and I fought for that for 57 years. In her 2005 memoir, Shields said that her husband was supportive in dealing with her depression. However, she confessed that the fear and lack of trust still existed within their relationship at the time. She wrote, Damage gets done. My husband, if I have a bad day, he looks at me thinking, Oh God, it's going to come back again. There's a lack of trust that was there at one time, and I think that that's damaging, and that's damage to our relationship. Despite their immense fame and wealth, Brooke and Chris were determined to raise their daughters as normally as possible. The actress explained that it was important for their kids to have a conventional upbringing and not to be thrown into something with all the pressure. She shared that her youngest daughter Greer was hinting about following in her mother's modeling footsteps, but she wasn't going to push her into it. But honestly, she's been really like helpful and supportive and I, I trust her and I listen to her. So. Brooke also opened up about how her parenting style differs from her husband's. It's not in his nature to be judgmental. He's so forgiving. That's great for our marriage, but not great for parenting. With kids, that gets you trampled on, she said. The couple has always prioritized family time, including summers at their home in the Hamptons, and instilling a sense of care and respect for the environment. Brooke revealed, I make my kids go on garbage pickups along the beach, and we don't use plastic straws in our house. The actress also shared that their daughters did away with their privilege and had their first summer jobs in 2020. Shields said that her kids got their weekly paychecks from their jobs, and through the experience, they learned the value of money. They realized how hard it was to get that check, she said. After 22 years of marriage, Brooke and Chris know what it takes to make their marriage work. Shields said that she and Henshi have date nights to keep their relationship strong. When things get busy, they try to just have an hour in the mornings together to get in some quality time. I was like, please, let's just go have coffee out on the porch. He got the paper, and we went and sat out, and he had his glasses. I said, look at us, Grandpa. It maybe lasted 45 minutes before life came back at us, Brooke shared. While they value their time together, the couple also understands that they need to have their own personal time too. The actress explained, A little space is good, and shared that she and Chris sometimes work by coastally between LA and New York separately. In 2021, the couple got a small take on the empty nester's life when they dropped off their firstborn, Rowan, to college for the first time. And if you've done it right, they don't look back. <laughs> right. You know, and you're like... <laughs> Their youngest daughter Greer is still at home and she loves stealing clothes from her mother's closet. Brooke revealed, if I want to know where anything good that I have is and I can't find it in my closet, I know exactly where to find it. The actress also shared that her daughters have a soft spot for Chris. Their dad is kind of their first love, she said. Over all of their years together, through all their ups and downs, Brooke has always gushed over her husband. For two decades, he has been by her side and an unwavering support for her. She expressed her gratitude for Chris, describing him as extremely patient and ridiculously funny, adding, he has the ability to approach situations head on and not let things fester. I'm lucky I have an amazing husband. In her memoir, she wrote, to this day, I believe that I fell in love with Chris the day we met in 1999, but I would never tell him that. There's no doubt that Brooke and Chris have done everything that they could to make their marriage work. They supported each other, stood by each other, and loved one another no matter what. We're so happy that these two found happiness together, and we wish them nothing but the best for their future together. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, please contact the Crisis Text Line by texting HOME to 741-741, or call the National Alliance on Mental Illness Helpline at 1-800-950-NAMI 6264, or visit the National Institute of Mental Health website. Be well and be kind.